welcome friends to my back to my channel and this video is basically we are going to see how we want to parameterize our data in jmeter so before getting started so why we want to parameterize the data right so it's basically a, a requirement which comes when we do a performance testing where we are do a, putting in number of users say 100 users and some application are set up in such a way that they will not allow the same user to log in or log out the same time in which case we need to use a different set of users so uh, that's the test data we have a different lot of test data combination also which we my, uh, we have been asked to use as per the requirement maybe each user should be uh, different that is one of the reason for it right so we will see how we can achieve it in jmeter okay so in jmeter which can be done in two ways right so one is an input through an external data which is excel usually that is the means how we can pass the data into the jmeter uh, and the second is using the user defined variables in the jmeter so we will start with the second one which is the user defined variables and then we will see how we can uh, use the excel to parameterize the data so this screen how the we launched the jmeter if you are watching my video for the first time please watch in my description the link to the url how to launch jmeter and and how if if you want to know how to record the uh, the sessions which is already recorded out here please watch my previous videos all those links and description links are given in the description please have a look over it right so this video is a continuation of that videos where we had created a test with the thread on it and uh, we had recorded a site which has a which is a lot to log uh, launch a url log into it and log out right okay and we added assertions to it uh, and what assertions we had is like a duration assertion and sites assertions so to it and to view the results right so that's what we have done it right so now what is the parameterization in this recording right yeah yes you're right so the parameterization is in the login we give a username and password so let's go to the login page right so the first sampler was to log into the path login right it does not have pass any value to it let's look at the second sampler oh yeah here is the second sampler you can see it's a post request which means we are going to send the request to the login which has the email and the password details over here which is the dummy username and password which is passed into this login to submit right so our parameterization is going to start from here okay so as each and every tool to parameterize we need to put them into a variable so what we will do is we will delete this out here and we are going to put a variable here right so for password it will be dollar password dollars in braces it will be password and for an email let me keep in dollar in braces email so it is the basic way how we define a variable in jmeter okay so once it is done now we need to pass this the actual value to this variable right so how to do it right so if you click on this record controller right so we went and saw in add we saw preprocessor and there is one option known as user parameter okay so this is how we can pass the parameter again like 
this is the down level you can even place it uh, as a global everywhere the options is there okay so i'm just placing it within the same controller okay so now this is the screen for user parameter you can rename the screen however you want let this be a login okay and what we will do is we need to add a variable first right so we have one variable which is email and the value of the variable was jmeter2020 at gmail.com then we add another variable password and the login uh, the password we need to type it right so we have defined the variable and value here right so let's run the test case now to see if it is passing correctly so when i click on run okay so everything is getting passed okay so wow we have a failure out here so is it an assertion failure yes it is an assertion failure of duration it took some time to open and log out it might be my network issue i, I assume so so as we are not no more needed of this assertions let me remove the uh, uh, duration assertion so that it does not create any issue so i'm clearing the test cases i'm rerunning it so we can see it's running so we have four samplers why it is running so much time 20 times yes right it has a number of thread use virtual user as five so it's 5 into 420 that's why it's been running okay so now what we will do is uh, we are not able to see the details right so what is the user name being like there is login 6 is a sampler but we are not able to see the details right so to in order to see more details there are a lot of listeners so we can go to the listener and we will add result 3 okay so now i'll clear it and run it again so what this list result 3 will give you is like now login 6 right it is going to give you the sample request and response so you are able to see it yes okay so so you can see in the request what value we passed for the login right so you can see the jmeter and the uh, 2020 and the password was correctly passed through it right so that's how we parameterize the data well and the main thing of parameterization is we are doing it because we have more than one user right so let me show you by adding another user so first how you will add so you'll go to this user parameter sheet and click on add user at the bottom so it will add user 2 here so you need to bring the next user name and password credential out here okay. so now what is going to do is let's see i'm not going to say it i'm just going to run it okay and i'm going to go to the view result tree okay so i have all login six is what is the user been passed so what has been passed out here it is jmeter 2020 our first user okay next login i am saying it is 2021 next login 6 it's 2020 next login 6 it's 2021 and next login it's 2020 so what did we infer from it it's that it takes each user sequentially one after another so alternately it, it had two users so it is taking alternative for all the five so three of them are having jmeter 2020 and uh, as the email id and two of them are having 2021 okay so if you had the third user then the first user will first case will run with the first user second with the second user third will run with the third user fourth will again use the first user and the fifth will again use the second user Okay. so we can add as many users we want here and we can even delete 
the variable if you don't want it by clicking on it and delete the variable or delete the user okay i do some user is not required so you can delete it you can move up the variable move down the variable all those options are available here okay but what if i have around 50 users to be used right i can't add each of the user out here right so that's where we use the external file so to use the external file the external file excel should be in a csv format right so i've already created a excel file in a csv format okay uh, so which has my email and password and both written out here so basically when you save it you need to save it as .cxe file so please do do remember to save it as .cxe file so i saved it okay so next what you need to do is you need to add this to the input of the excel into this jmeter right so how will you do it so if you click on demo thread and go to add that's something known as configuration element right so you need to go there and select csv data set config because we are going to take this data set right here you need to simply go go to the place where it is already placed and click on it okay so the csv file is already loaded now it should execute right so what i will do is i will delete this user parameter been created so that it picks from the cv data file so this i am deleting it right now so now it's on the file and what we are going to do is we are going to clear the result and pass on the variables from the file right so we will see the session results sorry uh, the view result in table everything is getting passed and here let's see we will see the first login 2020 the second login is 2021 so you can see the next one is 2020 right so now we are able to successfully pass the values from the excel in a csv format to this file remember the file should be in only in csv format that is the only format it's accepting okay now one more thing we have given the variable name at the top like if you remember the section shall open it you will see the variable has been defined at the first column so this is how it is like the variable name should be on the first row of the excel now but if you think or your size you don't want to keep the variable out here on the excel you need to define it in the variable name with comma delimited so you can define here as email comma password okay so this is how we need to be passing the data from an external or the user parameter functions within the jmeter for bringing in more user to our test cases and this brings up end to our this session thank you guys for watching the video and if you like this video please press the like button and do please subscribe to my channel for future videos and do let me know if you have any comments in the comment session thanks for watching